Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Alex Thomas here back with another video for you guys today. I'm going to give you guys just a, a, another like physical media like story type type video of why do I double dip or sometimes triple dip or sometimes quadruple dip on physical media. I have some examples right in front of me to show you guys you know why certain reasons why i you know most likely buy another version of a movie i already own i this is something as us collectors that we we do a lot um i know someone like tony from basement blues he probably had like five or six copies of one movie just because they keep coming out with different releases every single time and he's so keen to buying every single release uh, but someone like me it really it's like four or five different things that for me, that would really get me to double dip or triple dip or sometimes quadruple dip on a movie. Uh, so I'm going to give you guys those those reasons why I do it. Um, if you guys enjoy videos like this, please hit that like button. Please subscribe for more. I probably got more videos coming out just like this. I got another video planned that I'm going to talk about certain movies, certain Blu-rays I can't get rid of. Though, so that video will be coming out as well. And also, I'm going to be coming out with a video about... Um, why it's been so slow for me for these last couple months months when it comes to buying physical media and stuff like that so i hope you guys are ready for those videos also i'll be doing my next mission impossible review for uh, mission impossible rogue nation and also th this upcoming week we'll be doing a fast nine watch along on nerd talk since there's really nothing coming out there's nothing really to talk about um obviously we got the writer strike going on so it's really nothing to talk about so that vi those videos and those streams will be coming up in the future if you guys are ready for that as well enough rambling let's just go ahead and get into this video let's get it let's go all right you guys like i said the number one reason why for us collectors that reason why we double dip on a lot of films and i got an example right here um, they're both 4K titles, but for one, they're from two different studios, and um, for me, at least, I believe this 4K is better than this 4K. Um, I, I remember when this came out, this came out like 2018 when this 4K came out. Um, it was a big deal, because like I said, it was the first time it came to 4K, and um, yeah, then Screen Factory got a hold of it. And of course, they you know they they did a whole new 2021 4K scan with the rigid cannibal negative approved by the cinematographer, and um, yeah, they get you you know you get a, a, some decent artwork. You also get a slip box and stuff like that. But also you know Screen Factory also does you can switch the artwork. So, but for us as collectors, the one main reason why we double dip because so obviously there might be a new or better version with better artwork. Maybe the transfer is, is better. Um, you know like you know they give us a nice little uh you know things as collectors nice little box to put in and stuff like that or another reason which i i, I wanted to talk about this but i didn't pick up i didn't actually pick uh, i didn't pick it up well i'll just talk about that later but those are just one one of the reasons why for me at least why i double dip and also i halloween is my favorite horror movie of all time um i i i, I was going to buy the screen factor release when they announced it at least I, if i wasn't going to get all of them this was the one i was definitely going to buy um and um obviously i can't get rid of this because one i love the slipcover and it's my favorite movie of favorite horror movie of, of all time so that's one of the one reasons why for me why i double dip or sometimes cry juba dip or sometimes you know buy multiple copies of, of movies because for one it might be a better version of another 4k transfer or um you know there might be better artwork you know and stuff like that so yeah that's just a couple reasons why i double dip on something like that another reason why for us as collectors why we might quadruple dip or you know double dip or one because like when it comes to steel books and different you know iterations of movies um I, I picked up star wars because this is not the only copy of star wars i have i have this i have this and i have a, a triple feature i have a dvd um and obviously star wars is one of my favorite movies of all time as well but for me, um, obviously, I, I had to get the 4K version. Um, I do like these slipcovers. I know I'm probably in a minority. I do like these slipcovers. But also, since I'm a collector of steelbooks, I had to get the steelbooks as well. Um, I do like this artwork for the steelbooks. I know they're releasing new Disney 100th anniversary steelbooks. They kind of represent the like the the, um, the little. 10k set i think that's what those, those were like the treasure sets or whatever i really don't like those editions i like these better um for one the artwork on the back is so much better as well but yeah that's just another reason why for us as collectors that we double dip because maybe we love steelbooks and we love just regular 4k slipcovers so we end up having to buy 
two different versions or three different versions of a movie that we really like. So yeah, that's another reason why um, you know we double dip or triple dip. All right. Another reason, and I'm, I'm, I'm showing these, each example of reasons why I do it. Another reason why for us, why we might double dip or triple dip is because certain movies like this, for example, it only comes with the 4K and the digital. And I have the steelbook here that only has the Blu-ray and the digital. So for someone like me, I want both disc. So you see how this one only comes with the 4K and digital. No, I want a Blu-ray with it too. So I have no choice but to keep my Blu-ray because there's not always a certain amount of time where I have to, you know, there's, I'm not always around a blue, a 4K player most of the time. You know, if I'm, sometimes if I'm in the basement, I'm, I have playing it on my PS4 or, you know, I obviously have my PS5 now, but uh, before um, I didn't, I couldn't get rid of these movies because some movies only come with 4K discs. For another example, me and my buddy AJ just realized that certain Arrow versions, which can I, if one is close to me now, I can show it, yeah. So like this Donnie Darko uh, only comes with the 4K and the blue, uh, not the Blu-ray, it comes with the 4K if I'm not mistaken. Let me check real quick so I can get that right. But I got, I think, I think this only came with the 4K, right? 4K. Yeah, it only comes with the 4K disc. It doesn't come with the Blu-ray. So, for someone like me, if I had the Blu-ray, I'm, I'm going to keep the Blu-ray because it doesn't come with a 4K disc. Yeah, I'm probably not. I, I won't rarely, rarely watch that Blu-ray. But the fact that this doesn't come with the Blu-ray is like I have to keep it. I have to keep the Blu-ray. So I know that for me as a collector, it doesn't really make sense. But um, in my eyes, I feel like I need to have both discs in my possession. So like the Paramount is very envy envious of infamous of this where they'll release certain movies but only the 4k and the digital and they don't give us the blu-ray so i'm kind of like i have i have to keep the, the i have to keep the blu-ray because it, the the new version doesn't have one so that's just another example of why i double dip or triple dip um i already talked about one another reason why because i really like the movie you guys already know you've seen uh past videos of mine i've triple dipped on movies like avengers infinity war and avengers endgame because those are some of my favorite movies of all time same with back to the future i've doubled triple dipped on that movie i had the steelbook the 4k and, uh, and i still kept my blu-ray set um because i love those movies um another it says harry potter i still have my blu-rays and of course i have the steelbook collection um, I, there's a lot of movies in my collection that I'm just defying of keeping for one because they're some of my favorite movies of all time. Maybe they, like I said, they didn't have a, a, a Blu-ray with the, these movies, so I have to keep the 4K. Um, you know, different artwork designs. That's another reason why for us as collectors that we buy different things because we just love the way the artwork look on each different version. Um, like I said, and just for the upgradable factor that, you know, for us, we want to upgrade to the next you know feature and maybe we might maybe the 4k version isn't as great as the blu-ray so we have to keep the blu-ray um and then us as collectors we like man we just have to keep the 4k because you know we have to keep the 4k um and that's another it, another thing why i wanted to talk about is as, as us collectors i say it all the time i'm an idiot i'm an idiot when it comes to buying physical media and i say this all the time i buy things that i don't need to buy I keep I keep rebuying these movies just because I love them and I don't need to because like who needs two different copies of Friday the 13th who needs this but in my eyes I do you know I do need two different copies of Friday the 13th you know maybe one day I want to watch the for the, the blu-ray maybe another day I want to watch the 4k so you know that's that's just in my eyes of why I double dip and triple dip um, let me know what your guys' reasons why you guys double dip or triple dip. I know there's certain collectors out there, like I did mention Tony. Um, he buys a lot of different versions of movies. Same with like Movie Hunter. He trying to buy every single steelbook that's come out, so he has to keep rebuying movies that probably already has a steelbook for. Um, you know, uh, you know people like that. Just, I, I praise you guys because I just couldn't. Not every single movie. It has to be movies that I really, really love for me to double dip, triple dip. Or quadruple dip, you know, like, you know, I, I, I love Friday the 13th, regardless how terrible, how terrible or over the top the movies are, I do love these movies, you know, same with Star Wars, same with Halloween, you know, I love these movies, so I could see myself 
rebuying these movies again so yeah um hope you guys enjoyed this video i know this is just another random video talking about physical media i feel like i haven't made that many physical media videos because it's been so slow for me but uh, more videos definitely will be coming in the future as well so hope you guys are ready for that more reviews hope you guys have been enjoying my reviews if you guys have not been checking out my reviews please check them out i really appreciate that um, if you guys haven't been checking out my live streams, please check them out as well. My trailer reactions, I really enjoy doing them. Hope you guys are enjoying those as well. Um, like I said, I'm, I'm, this summer I'm pushing out a lot more content like I've been doing. So hope you guys are ready for that. Trying to hit 6,000 subscribers. If you guys can help me out with that, please hit that like button. Please subscribe for more. And I'm on this one, you guys. Peace out.